Hi, right, welcome back. Hey, check this out, man. I think all bloggers or vloggers, they have to pay attention to this right here. Your favorite vlogger or blogger won't be able to say all the type of ish that they used to say before. This is the precedence. The precedence has been set. Cardi B wins another $3 million in defamation lawsuit against Tasha K. Now, I covered this before, and Tasha K, her whole net worth is said to be between $500,000 and $1.5 million. There's only one site out there who portrays her net worth to be between $1 million and $5 million. Listen, if, and Cardi was already awarded $1.25 million before they even awarded this additional $3 million. So even if at the height of her net worth, Tasha K has got to be hurting feeling this. This ain't no plan. This isn't no publicity stunt. Cardi hurt her. Tasha K is hurt financially. Now she's going to have to get up and dust herself off and continue her journey and take this as a massive uppercut, but a hard learning lesson. So it goes like this. It looks like Cardi B has more to celebrate now. I'm taking this from the Jasmine brand. Now, the jasminebrand.com, you can go over there and read all the articles for yourself. And they have many other stories that are popping that's over there. If you can get there before I get the information from there to you, then go ahead and do it. I shout out the jasminebrand.com because I don't want to be <laughs> hit with the lawsuit for plagiarism understand but i loosely use what they've put up anyways it looks like cardi got a lot to celebrate about so one day after the new york rapper won her suit against popular youtuber tasha k who was born latasha kebe the jurors have added an additional 1.5 million dollars in punitive damages now that's 1.5 million plus the 1.25 cardi was already this is the breakdown a day ago, they ordered they, they the judge ordered that she would have to pay Cardi B, Tasha K would have to pay Cardi B, one point two five million dollars in damages. A day later, they decided to add another one point five million in punitive damages, and the judge ordered her, Tasha K, to pay Cardi B's legal fee, which was another. 1.3 million dollars in legal fees this combined with the 1.25 million in damages awarded on monday january 24th damn this now brings the total compensation that cardi had cardi is somewhere right now she popped a bottle on this one she celebrated on this one i'm telling you she must have because she was so disgusted at what uh tasha k was doing to her you know it was really hurting her and she had come out publicly quite a few times and spoken about it broke down and cried and all that other stuff and to now be awarded four million dollars in punitive damages damn she won big time i'm sure cardi is right now sitting somewhere saying yep that'll teach that bitch to shut her damn mouth and stop uh, trying to disrespect people and trying to get into people's personal lives and spread rumors and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that Tasha K said about Cardi B, like she had a sexually transmitted disease and she was cheating on Offset and she used to push bottles up in her JJ when she was dancing as a stripper and all kinds of stuff. Tasha K actually in court admitted to falsifying that information, making that up. She had no hardcore proof to any of the stuff she was saying. So that was in court. Okay. And hence the damages. Now, this is a huge win for the rapper, for Cardi B. And she took the time to thank the jury and her lawyers for a fair trial. She did a whole press conference statement that was released January 25th. Now, she said, after almost four years of repeated libel and slander against me, 
being able to walk away from this vicious brings situation brings me great happiness. She continued by saying that during the trial, all you have learned about the darkest times in my life, that moment in time was fueled by the vile, disgusting, and completely false narratives that were repeatedly and relentlessly shared online against me. And I thought that I would never be heard or vindicated. And I felt completely helpless and vulnerable. You know, I put it to you like this. If you could imagine her husband, right, saying, damn, where this girl got all this information from you about, like, you used to dance on bottles, like, put the bottles up in you while you're dancing when you used to be a stripper, or that you used to sell sex as prostitution, and you used to do this, and you used to do that, and you have a sexually transmitted disease. So Cardi went into court and said that, for one, she was pregnant when all that stuff was happening, and it became very stressful because everywhere she went, while she was trying to promote a project, trying to earn her money, there would be a whole lot of people coming at her sideways with information pertaining to this, right? So it caused her great distress to the point where her unborn child was harmed and today has de developmental delays due to that process. Well, the court sided with Cardi and they believed her. And now Tasha K is $4 million in a hole. Shit. That's a whole lot of money. This got to tell the other bloggers and vloggers that, hey, if you run one of those sites, that's like a slander site where you just talk shit about people and say what the fuck you want to say about their personal lives and their children and all this other stuff, that now the precedence has been set. You can no longer do that because they will come for you. And not only will they come for you, they will be rewarded because they will now be able to point back to the case where Cardi B defeated Tasha K in the court of law and won a significant amount. I'm just saying this is the way that it's about to go from now on. Now, as previously reported, reported Cardi sued Tasha K in 2019 after Tasha K posted several videos about Cardi, including alleging that she had contracted a STI, sexually transmitted infection, and that she worked as a prostitute. She was selling coochie. On Monday, January 24th, jurors held Tasha K legally liable on three separate claims that were filed from Cardi B. She got found guilty on all three claims, including defamation, that's one, invasion of privacy through portrayal in a false light, that's two, and intentional infliction of emotional distress, that's three. God damn it, man, she even got ordered to pay the girl's legal fee. Imagine somebody gets a high-powered lawyer to sue you, and then you end up having to pay for, and you know high-powered lawyers don't come cheap. Right. And, you know, Cardi B did not go for no bottom shelf lawyers. She went for some top shelf lawyers that you're going to pay a hefty fee for them to represent you. And now Tasha K has to pay that bill. Damn. You know, sometimes when you in a bind and in a grind, um, when you see yourself with these confrontations, it's best to just let it go. It's best to just let it go. Apologize and move on. That's how I do. If somebody calls me and say, hey, stop using our name or don't put my picture up there, I say, my bad, I apologize, I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to um, disrespect you or put your stuff up in a negative light. I understand you have a brand to protect and that's how you earn your living and feed your family. I apologize and I'll remove it and I'll take it down. Tasha K said, hey, brush your shoulders off, clink glasses, sips wine, hands folded, back to it. You know, it all comes with the territory, all that. I don't know. That territory, I don't want to be on it. Now, moving forward, Tasha K's attorney, so you get an understanding of where this could go. Tasha K's attorney can reportedly challenge the verdict of the federal district judge overseeing the case. They could challenge. They could challenge all they want to. But the judge could stand on his square, which I'm pretty sure they are going to do if 
he upholds the verdict that Tasha K must pay this four million dollars to Cardi B, then they, which is Tasha K lawyers, can go to the federal appeals court with it. So they, I don't know how much money she want to exhaust trying to fight this thing all the way to the top. You fight it all the way to the top and you still come out with the same verdict plus your short on money because you paid attorneys to fight this case for this long. Damn. I remember seeing Tasha K and she was like, I got lawyers on, de on deck. I'm not scared. And you know, you put up a brave front and you go in. Kudos to her. It came out to this. Sheesh. That hurts. I'm going to leave this one right here. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. I think that Cardi B was in her right to protect her privacy, to protect her relationship, her marriage with her husband, to protect her children from slander and all that other stuff. And I, for one, hate the channels that bring about fake news. I'm not saying that's what Tasha K was doing, even though it was proven in a court of law that that's what she was doing in this particular case. I'm not trying to say anything about her. I'm just saying about all these channels that have popped up on YouTube over the years. A lot of them are not credible. They sensationalize news and spread false narratives about people. They don't give two shits if these people, oh, they're stars, but they're still humans and they don't care. Because what they care more about is getting the views so they can get some ad revenues on their videos and some money in their pocket. Well, guess what? The court system has drawn the line. And they're saying now that these hate accounts will no longer exist. They will be held liable legally for doing that. Let that sink in. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.